Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share another thought, a little nugget. Here you are, now remember this is Pat's Two Cents, a supposition. Here you are in a situation where tragedy is about to hit. There's danger on every side. You don't know about it because you're asleep in the bed. And your cell phone is next to you. And your family members and your friends have been calling you all night. Get up, get up, get out of there. Well, you're not answering your messages because you're asleep. Your phone is not buzzing or ringing because you forgot to plug in the power source. So it doesn't even have the power because it's run out. You haven't recharged it. You haven't made that connection. So no one can reach you. No one can tell you there are a lot of riots going on a mile down the road. Get out of there. It's moving your way. Nobody can tell you, call you and tell you there is a tornado warning. Get in the basement now. Nobody can warn you and tell you that there is a predator. And he's breaking in the homes left and right. And what he's doing to the people is horrendous. And you're on the same block. And you're next in line and about four or five houses to go. And they can't seem to stop or find this person. But until after the damage is done and they find the carnage. But you are sleeping on your pillow. And you're dreaming away in La La Land. While all around you is devastation, and no one can warn you. There is no way for anyone to warn you. So you can't do anything about it. And you let pray for the next move of whatever's coming your way. That wasn't intentional, anyway. I rhymed for some reason in it, anyway. So here you are in this situation totally unbeknownst to you that you are in a death trap and people are calling you to tell you how to get out of it but you cannot receive the signal now imagine this what might happen to you if a tornado is coming if a flood is coming if an earthquake is about to happen whatever a tsunami if you are connected to God his people know his voice you can hear from God in a dream like he told Joseph and Mary Jesus's parents leave because Herod is getting ready to kill all the babies leave and go there okay God will not only tell you what to do, he'll tell you where to go for you to be safe. But if you're not connected, you're not going to hear a word, he says. If you're not even sleeping but busy, mesmerized by the idiot box called the television, you're not going to hear God's voice because God's not going to yell. Well, sometimes he does. But <laughs> he may get tired of, of, of yelling at you and just say, okay, you don't hear me this time, it's your behind. And he may have been talking to you all night long, but you're not hearing because something else has gotten your attention. Just like you're talking on the phone and somebody's trying to reach you to tell you your mother or father or child died or your spouse Hmm? But they can't tell you or tell you that they're dying, they're in the hospital, something horrible happened. Why can't they get across to you? You're talking to your baby on the phone, you're doing a little flirtation here because you're trying to score for the night. And you're getting beep, 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 beep. Ah, if these fools don't leave me alone, I got some business to take care of. Till after it's too late. And you may take care of your business. Yeah.
But whatever they were trying to alert you to has come and gone. And you can't do a thing about it. We must stay connected to God. We can't be so busy that we can't answer his call. We can't be so busy that, 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 that we're so intrigued with the here and now that when God is tapping us on the shoulder, come away with me, I need to talk to you about something. We can't be so busy. Oh, um, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It could mean your family's life, the safety of your home. God could be telling you, lock all your doors and windows. It's a summer evening, it's hot, you want the breeze. He could be telling you, lock all your windows, shut everything tight, turn on the fan. And turn every light on in the house. He may tell you to do that. But if you're... I wonder what they're going to do. Did you see what they did? You're watching the idiot box. You're so caught up in your movie that you're like, oh, I get an easy, I'll deal with it later. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, come on. And God is trying to protect you. But for you, it's not right now. Not a convenient time. I ask you this question. Not only are you connected, but do you drop what you're doing when he speaks to you? Does he have your undivided attention? Can he get your undivided attention? Or do you not even be, uh, are you not even able to distinguish his voice from all the other voices going on in your life? That's something to think about, isn't it? Here's a good prayer for that. Lord, open up my ear that I may hear. Open my heart. Connect my heart to your heart so I can feel you pulling and tugging at me, trying to get my attention. Lord, don't let me be a fool where I don't even recognize your voice when you're talking to me. <laughs> 